Today is a beautiful day. The tide has finally um, settled down a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm right near the airport. I had to go. Um, my rental van came back this morning, so I had to go and take the uh, people that were renting the van to the airport. That was probably their flight. Um, <clears throat> And now I'm back out here. So I'm gonna to try to go spearfishing again. Uh, the ocean is a much more calm for the most part. And um, I haven't figured out the best way to deal with this GoPro and a spear gun at the same time, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's see what we find. All right. As I jumped in the water, I swam away from the edge of the, of the reef. Uh, into the deeper water and came across uh, this beautiful spotted eagle ray. These things are just, they're so beautiful, they're so majestic. And it looks like my spear gun is pointing at it, but I assure you it's not. And <clears throat> the safety is, is on. And I don't get close enough to this to actually hit it if for some reason that spear were to accidentally discharge um, just just beautiful the way that they float the water just love watching these majestic creatures um, anytime I come across them. here I'm uh, down on the reef and um, coming up to this little horn just to kind of hide behind a little bit and um, peer over the edge to see what what's down there <clears throat> and um, you can see how that lava kind of comes out from the, from the land there and here's all these surgeon fish and I take a shot there and uh, I let it just a little bit too much um, I go back try again and <clears throat> you can see all these surgeon fish down at the bottom uh, quite a quite a big school and um, they um, they notice me coming with a gun, <laughs> or they can feel my energy, but I cannot get close to them like I can when I don't have a gun. Uh, here I'm going to dive all the way down to the, to the bottom, book, uh, 30, 35 feet, something like that, and um, I end up getting a fish right against this rock here but not in this uh, not in this video I actually put my GoPro away because it was locking up again um, so I got a few videos I, there was a fish I was going to shoot I did shoot it I let it too much and um, so you can see why I keep saying I'm a shitty shot it's uh, they're fast and um, I'm back not, from spearfishing. I'm not sure again if I got any of that on video, but <clears throat> I got a big fish and a little fish. This one is called a cole, I think. And I'm not sure what this one is called, but um, pretty, pretty much brownish black. And then it had a blue, blue type of stripe and a little bit of blue on the tail. So I'm not sure what it what it's called, but it's a good sized fish. There's a lot of them down there. Again, I was kind of a shitty shot, um, but I was lucky to get two. I don't know how long I was out, maybe an hour and a half. So, but it was uh, tides coming up. High tide is coming up, so. Doesn't look so bad right now, but uh, when I was out there, it's getting a little surgy. And so, but I did a new thing coming in. I just wound up my, my line and put everything on top of the boogie board and then just rolled the boogie board in like I was surfing. <laughs> so it worked out really well. So, all right, I'm going to play these up. 
and have them for dinner. All right, let's check this out. That looks kind of like lobster. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how it tastes. But um, here is some roasted um, butternut squash, cauliflower, and steamed broccoli with a little bit of Thai coconut curry and some um, pineapple. So I like to combine um, pineapple with or mango, um, papayas, all that has good digestive enzymes to help break down your protein into the essential amino acids so your body can like actually utilize the food. Otherwise, if you don't have the enzymes, it's uh, difficult, if not impossible, for your body to break that protein down into um, a usable form, as usable as what it could be with um, digestive proteins. So, um, also, I do a lot of, uh, you can see the portion of vegetables that I have. Well, and this fish half of this fish is going to go to the dogs uh, because they were really good dogs today and they deserve some fish so um, anyway I have a lot of people that ask me what my secret is to keeping in shape and 90% um, of it is is the time that I spend in the kitchen um, this is how I eat pretty much every day, uh, every night. Uh, I usually cook something for myself, and the greater portion of it is vegetables. There generally is a fruit and some type of animal protein. Um, I, I just I don't put garbage in my body. You know? So <clears throat> this fish, I... I cooked with with ghee instead of butter and um, it's a little bit more bland but it's very uh, again it's very light and flaky um, not not a dense fish at all um, it's tasty so tomorrow I'm gonna make it with butter and see if that doesn't make a difference give it a little bit more you know, mm, kind of a little bit more um, savory, I guess, is what the other um, the other fish were, and it might might be something to do with the butter. So thank you for coming along today, uh, my spearfishing journey. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna try and do a time warp type video. So. I'm just I'm still learning this GoPro and I I don't have like the best attachments for it but I think I figured something out for my spirit gun <laughs> we'll see how it works tomorrow um, but if you like the video send me a comment um, if you're on my YouTube channel hit like and subscribe I'd appreciate that Always a beautiful sunset here in Kona. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the sunset. See you next time. Aloha.